bring game, taking no that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, north top, you stop breathing. Everyone's gonna be watching mostly on Saturday is the big pay-per-view from PBC Showtime. You know, when the main event we got David Benavides and Caleb Plant. You know, uh I, I was Showtime, like, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with the next all access so they can redeem themselves. Isn't it this Friday or something like that? Or something like that? Yeah, cause uh, yeah, I mean, as we, I mean, we dropped some bars on there. Some people were like, you know, I think like someone put like, yeah, y'all sound like yo, really mad. We wasn't really mad. We was just nah, this wasn't it. You know, it was, yeah. it was boring. Like you know, it's like for a fight of this, you know, for a fight. Okay, where, I mean, unless that's a guy who, because I saw the comment, maybe that's somebody who, who wouldn't mind if, if professional boxers are talking his wife, his woman, his sister, his mom like that for just yeah. giving an opinion. <laughs> I mean, maybe, 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 I don't know how they treat women in his household. I don't know, like, and I ain't no simp for no broad, but I'm just saying that they were just a little much. Like, that's all it was. Like, <laughs> I think that's all of us were saying. Like, that's why it's so crazy to even say shit because niggas be like, if you say one thing objective, niggas be like, oh, y'all niggas is doing too much. Y'all mad? Like, <laughs> chill, like. <laughs> Like, you, do you think, like, what if your mom said that shit? So you saying that Caleb Plant should knock out your fucking father and piss on him? Yeah, you know, they, they, Like, literally, like, y'all gotta take it like that. Like, I'm sorry, like, if y'all don't put it in that frame, then y'all not gonna get the disrespect sometimes. Like, because y'all see it at a distance. Like, right. Hmm, that's, I don't have no connection with them. They're two strangers. Right, <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. All right. What if what if that's your your aunt nigga getting tried like that? What if your uncle gets swung on by this nigga? It's just like the shit with Clarissa Shields and the her sister and all of them. And that that whole circus that that one fight. Right. Yeah. Like what whatever it is. Like certain levels ain't called for. So that's all. Like. But yeah, we bring that energy on the goddamn all access shit. Yeah, like you know, like I mean, missing out on footage and shit. Y'all talking about goddamn that shit was more popping. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like like I like I don't care about the fat issues in the past. I don't care about the fucking sneakers and low riders and shit. You know, just you know, just you know, just you know, just just show some hard training. And yeah, is this a Dr. Dre video, nigga, or or all access? Right, you know, is this Weight Watchers promo or all access? <laughs> exactly. Right. Y'all, y'all flooding up the goddamn all access with bullshit. You know, goddamn how old, how fat this little nigga was when he was thirteen or whatever the fuck. Like, cool, he passed that. Like, talk about the fucking fight. Right. Respectfully, because you know. It's a big deal to lose all that weight. I get it, you know, but damn, like y'all, they were just focusing on the wrong shit too long. Right, exactly, and and, and and it wasn't interesting, like not one bit. Complete opposite of the card, though. <laughs> so right, we, can, exactly. we can get into that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, let's go into uh, I'll go into the, uh, the undercard fights because this is yeah. this is this is actually a well put together card. Now, pay per view quality. You know that might be that's that's its own argument. I mean, if it was a regular TV card, it would be an outstanding TV card. Uh, you know, yeah. pay per view is a B plus. It's a B plus, yeah. You know, so the first fight on um, there that we'll I'll get into is the return of one Chris Colbert, and he will be facing Jose Valenzuela. Now, uh, yeah, I mean Colbert. Of course, we all know what happened to him. Uh, you know, I mean, we thought the dude was on the up and up, and then. He got humbled badly by Hector Luis Garcia. What is what is going on with you, Pat? Like first you like you you would always address Colbert as young B Hop. Little B Hop. Little B Hop. Well, well yeah, no, he, he's gonna have to earn that back now. I'm sorry, no. he got his ass <laughs> and, now, and now you're making it mad French Colbert. Yeah. Like he's mad <laughs> Colbert. Uh, all right. Yeah, no, well I, I oh, sorry. He has, he, has, he, has to, he has to earn all that shit back. Oh, you know, yeah, he has to you know, like, I'm sorry, but you guys asked for by Garcia. I'm sorry, he has to earn all that shit back. I mean, not like because I heard from him from that um, fucking Netflix, you know, documentary with with Quillen and uh, some other people. But I was like, damn, I'm kind of rooting for him because I saw him on that shit, you know. And it was like, damn, he really got it exposed and dropped in OnlyFans trunks. Yeah, and then but then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, but then, it's, it's like you know, because he was talking, he was talking cash shit. Although I appreciated what he said. 
you know, about the Wilder shit and so on because he was right about that. But most people, most people he, was, not, he was, he was incredibly right about that. But most people didn't like that. But most people saw this as a come up and stuff. So I know Twitter let him have it. Everyone let him have it after he was getting after you guys asked. Yeah, there's just some right like rap. I was gonna say rappers, but Wild Wilder is like a, he's hitting the Jay Z level with niggas like with the stands. Hey, but yeah. but him and him and him and Tiafimo both talk shit. Tiafimo called him bitch, and they both lost their zeros. I'm just saying. <laughs> but this is the thing is like all this shit could be true like like the, the way Wilder handled his loss you know and Tio pointed it out but then Tio had to get his come up in the, the, the following year like motherfuckers don't let nothing go like no, no, hell, no. no, no, no. Yeah, hell no because so you know, if you say yeah. something remember somebody is just waiting for the moment just like with Jake Paul he, he chirped after every fight until he had to fucking finally lose Mm-hmm. Hey, you, you gotta talk, man. Like, uh, I, I, I prefer somebody that's not a fucking mute and got a bland personality. I like, you know, somebody yeah. that can talk to right, me. Right, you know. I mean, you can run your mouth and be humble, respectful, and shit, but at the end of the day, like, you gotta, gotta show and prove. Right, and Colbert, man. he ain't do that against Hector Garcia. You're right, and it's been, and he's been out of the ring for, I think it's like, thir- now it's 13 months, you know, because last time he fought was last February. You know, God, damn, that was a minute. Yeah, like, nigga just what color is hair gonna be this week? It's gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna be almost thirteen months. <laughs> so and he was looking, you know, a few months ago he was looking really fat in the picture of the fight, but I mean, he, he probably slimmed yeah. down now. Like, yeah, I think like, he was looking like he was one forty seven. Well, because his his interview, I remember an interview before the the fight where he lost. He was talking about like open chicken spot, gonna retire at twenty eight. Like, if if you're gonna say that kind of shit, nigga, you better win some fights, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. him saying that, I'm picking a rail to, to beat him. Definitely, I'm just yeah, saying. Like, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, I think Rayo beats him too, yo. I don't, I don't think this nigga is serious or he's back like that. Like, is, is and I don't think his heart is in there because he's gonna, gonna stop him or is it gonna be a decision? He, maybe drop him I'm, or something. I'm fifty fifty. I, I don't think. I, I think Colbert is kind of small for one thirty five. To be honest with you, yeah, he is pretty but small. I don't think Rayo's that good. So yeah, same here. Like, I mean, because yeah. I, I used to go, I used to go on. Two things could be right. I mean, Bro. I used to go in on, on Valenzuela because how they were moving him. Because I remember that that Vargas fight that he put him in there. I was like, "Yo, that shouldn't that, that shouldn't have happened. That was disgusting." And then, of course, had... he, then he goes to get his lights put out by Del Santos. So it's like, I it mean, was... I, I and before Ra- that, I mean, I just don't think Rao's that good. In fact, I'm still saying it, and I keep bringing it up on Twitter, and I don't care because they're gonna keep bringing it up because they tried to pack me up because I said that Zapata was better than Rio. And they wanted to pack me up. Well, wait, wait, yeah. what? Yeah, that's not a bad take. Like, yeah, nigga, really? Yes. Right. It, whoa, 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 hold on. This is the same as a painter that like that no, seven up skunk it. Jojo Diaz. Yeah, Williams a so, painter. That will. Yeah, hey, Williams, that, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, hold yeah. on. before Dillon Santos knocked um, knocked that dude out, people were saying he would knock out Pitbull. I heard people, a lot of people saying El Rayo would beat Pitbull and shit like that. And I'm like, Pitbull's I didn't hear small, some of that. You're right. I didn't believe it. You, heard, you know, you heard a lot of that hype with, with El Rayo because I think he had a sparring session with was it Ryan or Tia Fimo? He, you know, like, yeah, where he you had know, some work. Yeah, oh, so yeah, yeah. He, oh my gosh, well, we're basing it off of uh, off of one sparring session. Well, yeah, well, that's a, that's a talk. I'm just saying, he's not that good, right? Yeah, yeah but he no, got his hype off that. Right, no, yeah. I'm picking Colbert because even though Colbert's small, I think Colbert actually has some skill. Ryle's not that good. So. He could outbox him. Colbert, I'm going with Colbert. It's the intangibles I'm worried about in this fight. Colbert, with all his skills, man, the, he gave up too easily against Hector Garcia. Like, the nigga ain't want to throw hands. He gave up quick. Yeah, bro. but Ryo, Ryo, yeah. I mean, he was going to pass his prime Adrian that, Broner the way he was, gave up. That was, a, that was a bad showing, and you're right. It is the intangibles, but Ryo isn't crafty enough and doesn't have a lot in his toolbox that's going to make him want to quit. So different fight. But this this, this R- Ryo comes to fight though, right? Yeah, of course he does. Yeah, he punches hard. Comes, that, yeah, he punches hard. Yeah, that, that's all we need, nigga. Like <laughs> he, ain't gotta, he ain't gotta have all the craft in the world for a nigga like Cobra. The, Hector Garcia's good, but he ain't have all the fucking craft. That nigga was just there beating his ass. Ryo starts. So little any guy would it do? Yeah, Valenzuela reminds me of like a, a smaller poor man's version of Ryan Garcia similarly. Like they're open to get hit. They have a little power, you know what I'm saying? A little flashy. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean with Rayo though, I mean at least I mean it depends if Chris if Chris Colbert wants to actually sit on his punches this time. If he if Chris Colbert sits on his punches, he can hurt Rayo, but 
Yeah. You know, you know cause like, let's say, cause you, um, but I just think, I don't think Chris Webber is going to be doing that. I think he might, I think he just might just outbox his ass for I think he's going to try to stink the joint out and get him a win. And mm-hmm. gonna try, he's going to try to keep his distance. Yeah. Like he's going to, he look, look for him to be Colbert in the second half, but with a jab. I mean, the second half of that Garcia fight. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, he's going to turn in the damn job Eve against Jermaine Taylor after the uppercut. <laughs> you know, circle this nigga like it's a fucking skating ring. I see this about El Real though, like him working with um, David Benavidez, Jose Benavidez, um, Diego Pacheco, who just had a nice knockout in the main event and on the zone. Like, if he can't be able to cut the ring off, like how Boots wasn't able against Karen like that, then he's he's a fraud. I mean, I don't you're, know. You're you're asking for too much from this guy. Like, he's I know, not that good. <laughs> I mean, but you say he's been training with the Benavides family. We haven't enough of him to know if he's good or not. I mean, I, I've, the couple two three times I've seen him, he's it's early knockout. Yeah, he, 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 had, he was training with peg leg. Whoop de do. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the other ah, uh, so he he so he, he getting them damn them th- uh, Creed three workouts. Then nah, nigga, we needed like Creed four workouts for you. I so, think Aurel so, could probably. I think Aurel could probably. I'm gonna pick Aurel to win, but I think he might hurt him. I don't think he's gonna stop him, but I think he'll win a decision or something. I don't know. I don't. I don't think Colbert's heart's all into boxing when I saw a few interviews. Off I don't him. think so either. Like, I mean, he got Aurel, too big. You know, this is 135. He don't hit that hard. He he, he slapped with his hard. punches sometimes. Yeah. Obviously, cool. he gave up. He gave up after he got dropped. Yeah, like damn. So I don't know. He could win this fight. It's fifty fifty though. But um, one know. nigga not good enough. The other nigga don't have enough heart. <laughs> I mean, Fucking so what, ten I mean, what man you scarecrow fight. I mean, what, so what do you think, LB? What's the, what do you have for um? What's his name? Venezuela. Yeah, yeah Jose Venezuela. Venezuela is a country. Uh, who? Who's it? No, so I can say his name right. Valenzuela. Valenzuela. Okay, Valen. Like, like Richie Valens. Like Valenzuela. Valenzuela <laughs> or um, they call him El Rayo. That's his nickname. Rayo. El Rayo. Okay, yeah. Give me something easy, nigga. Long day. Um, El Rayo by El Kayo. <laughs> Honestly, and this is the thing. I feel like it's gonna be a fuckery Ko. It's gonna be one of those where. Colbert gonna maybe act like he could still fight or he's gonna be hurt. It's gonna be a controversial. I just see this fight being controversial. Like, but uh El Rayo with the El KO. Uh, I think it's gonna be more like a TKO type of stoppage type of shit. I just think he's just gonna just stay on dude. Um and Colbert, this is Colbert fight to lose more than the win. Like right. like Colbert has his skills, he could do what he do and, and win this, but I just don't think he's mentally all there yet. It's the right fight for him. It's the right fight, but um, I just don't know. Um, and it should have. It be not like it, it's crazy because Colbert. I feel like if he really tried his best, he could even probably stop, dude. But yeah, did you? I don't really even think we're gonna get that from him. Did you really say El Rayo by El Ko? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nigga, that's bars. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga got a soundboard. What the fuck? <laughs> yo, 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 fuck all that. Only PJ allowed to do soundboards, nigga. Like, <laughs> stay in your lane, nigga. Like, <laughs> this nigga just tried you. Hell no, that that was hard. Hell, no, that should. That but I'm saying hard. like radio for the kill, like. Ooh, I hear it, nigga. I hear it. I don't know, like, how, how we clowning? We clowning bars now? Like, I, I just don't. I don't. I'm as you can tell. I really don't like Ryan. So, I'm just. I, yeah. I don't. I don't see. I mean, Cobra is cool. I mean, I, I drew a picture of the, that nigga, but you know, ain't like he acknowledged it. You know, I know, right? He, he even messaged it to him on his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, what can you do? But uh, I still respect the skills and all that shit. But I just don't think he did. He, he spent more time uh, arguing with Herring, and he won't fight that nigga either. Hell yeah. no. He's hanging out Herring with Danny is Gar- retired, yeah. so he, that's he always hanging out with Danny Garcia. Dude, look, look. In boxing now, 
Nobody's really retired. I'm we throwing away that retired shit. No, no Herring, Herring's out. wife will make sure that he doesn't get in the ring again. But Man, like, these niggas look. And this is just like Lennox Lewis' wife. But I don't be listening to none of that shit. Motherfuckers be like, oh, I'm gonna quit fighting. Like, motherfuckers quit when they in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> I don't, cause I, I ain't putting past it. That, that check get too much niggas. The same niggas be like, oh baby, no, nah, don't take the fight. Be like, oh baby, that that new Lexus. Uh, I don't know. So, but it still wasn't a good look for him. Always arguing with that nigga. It's like that's a world champion, and you ain't become no fucking world champion. No, no, you didn't. Hey, okay, yeah. what's your prediction? I'm, I mean, I'm going Colbert by decision. Um, it's, it's not going to be a good fight. Um, <laughs> No. <laughs> I, I think there's going to be a It's going to be very mid um, What kind of decision? Uh, probably a I can see a majority decision honestly Oh god Yeah it's one of those type fights And anytime I see MD I already know like I already know what's going to happen So yeah it's going to be a bad fight um, Yeah he's not Cobra's, even- just, Cobra's just more skilled than Ryo even, even with all his Tentativeness and I'm sure he'll use most of that tentativeness for half the fight. So, yeah, it's not going to be a good fight. But and Matt, you know, if this is a good fight, then then P, P needs to be more of an Eeyore for fights in the future. Because anytime that P's, a I, 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 I am not Eeyore. I am Piglet. Get it right. <laughs> I mean, you would wish that both these guys, you know, have won the coming off losses. This is their last chance, almost. You know what I mean? So, you hope they bring in it. a good fight, but you know. If the fight's as good as Hester Jojo Diaz, then the fans won. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You know, so And I know Hester I know Cobra ain't gonna be throwing combinations like Hester and all that shit. <laughs> but he needs to. Right. Hey yo, Rome, do you have a prediction? Bang. You said what? <laughs> this nigga no, Rocky like- three, my bad, yo. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, what the fuck that mean? Mr. I- T <laughs> <laughs> I need to see Rocky Three now, nigga, because maybe I seen it too young and I didn't understand it. So maybe if I seen it now, I'll grow. Because I, I was seeing everybody, everybody that I asked that question to, everybody saying fucking Rocky Three is the best one. I'm like, nigga, how? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't know how niggas voted in that poll for their Creed Three over Rocky Three. I'm like, y'all parents must have dropped y'all on your fucking head. <laughs> During Rocky Three, but no, no, Rome. I was asking you between Chris Colbert and uh, Jose Valenzuela. Like, who do you think is gonna win? Well, I got Valenz- Valenzuela by KO. Okay, I mean, I can, I can see that too, you know. But uh, I'm going, with, I'm going with Colbert by decision myself. Uh, I think it's gonna be a unanimous decision because, like I said, I, just like P, I don't think. Oh, I, wow. I, I don't think much. I don't think much of Rayo either. Like I said. You know that 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 Vargas shit never sat sat right with me. What he did, so it was just like nah. Like, hey, PBC cards be having fuckery sometimes. This, this this might be a fuckery. Like LB said, this might there might be some fuckery in this. They got a fuckery fight. Some, like it just uh, just I, drenched I in think, fuckery. I think, I think the fuckery fight is going to be the next fight on the card. Right? That's going to be that 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 has the potential for some fuckery. Oh, well, so, so also we is when. Two, three for Valence, uh, for Rayo. What's up? It's two of us for Colbert, three of us for Rayo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. It's, and shout outs to Ayo, be easy. Mr. T deserved the Oscar for that performance. You damn right. You, you did. damn right. What's your prediction? <laughs> Pain. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Like how you come up with that? Like, hey, that's what the new Creed movies are missing. Dialogue like that. But ne- next next fight, cause King Pete done brought it up and um King Pete lead, lead us up. What the, why do you think the next fight's the fuckery fight? I mean, it's Cody Crowley. Um mm-hmm. Cody Crowley versus Abel Ramos. Um Nigga, that's just a good ass fight. <laughs> no, it's a good fight, but like this might be the uh, uh this might be really the upset fight. Like that. Mm. You I got mean, Ramos? I, 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 he could beat him. I'm not saying he will beat him, but I'm saying I could see this being the uh, the fuckery fight. Because Ramos. The way this nigga said that. <laughs> you got Ramos? Like, he was like reading the newspaper and just was like, hold on. 
No, I don't have I don't I don't have this Ramos winning, but I could see. There's an avenue. Because like Cody, Cody likes to, to be a, a swarmer. Like he likes to just like just trap you and just fight. Like he he comes with it. But he's gonna leave himself open for some power shots coming his way. So I think his aggressiveness might come back to hurt him in this one. Yeah, I, I don't think highly of Cody Crowley like that. I actually think I, I actually yeah. Amber Ramos will actually KO him. I could I could possibly KO him. In an exchange, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we all see it the same shit. Yeah, like, yeah, Crowley. But the way y'all look, look at Crowley is like y'all <laughs> like I look at I look at it is I look at Rayo better it's like like I don't even look at like, Rayo is as bad as y'all look at Crowley. Yeah, Crow- Crowley, I'm, I'm, a, I'm Crowley not a Crowley guy. Like, Crowley, he he. Oh. Yeah. Crowley Stop got that one went off the dude. Yeah, Crowley got that one went off that dude that was Spencer's obvious mentor for a minute. Yeah, yeah that, that Abdul like Cock- Crowley too. That Abdul yeah. Cockadoodle shit, like whatever his. Name. And he ended up losing yeah. yeah, and that guy ended up losing to um, a, a jobber on the the YouTube shit with those white boys. <laughs> yeah. Morning combat. Damn. Yeah, you know, was that? <laughs> and the thing is too, and Crowley Crowley too is like he had all the opportunity to knock out Jose Cito Lopez, but it didn't. That should that, that was the fight that should have oh, been yeah. in existence. Yeah, so I was just like, yeah, I was like, yeah, we do came and finish someone who's even shot like that. I'm just like, yeah, I, I, it's like I, Abel Ramos is not shot at all. Like he's not. He's, he's, he's but he's shot. getting like long in the tooth a little. Like, like, he's kind of getting a little long in the tooth. Well, I mean, look at like, he's gonna have to pull out a hard effort. Yeah. That guy sent I'm, sorry, what did you say, I'm saying that guy sent to Maria just beat him. Um, but his cousin Ramos was up against Spencer next, ended up getting the revenge for him. But it's like, okay, like, let me ask you this: so, go, go. Hey, did you think he really lost to uh, Santa? Um, he Santa Maria. He, he did not. That was a weird fight. Looked, that, that was a weird that fight. Was not a good fight, but I don't think he lost it. it yeah, because I'm thinking, I, I, I felt like Abel Ram, Ramos won that to me. I did, yeah. So did I. I, I thought he got low key robbed on that shit. Like, uh, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I, I like Santa Maria because he got robbed from that guy Paul Crow, and I've kind of been rooting for him. And I, I, I was rooting for him, but he, he definitely probably lost that by around you know more like. Dude, he barely got past a comebacking older past it Devin Alexander. Yeah. <laughs> barely yeah. got past Devin Alexander. Like if Devin Alexander would just been a little bit better that night. You could have scored that fight a draw or Alexander. Well, for you know, for the longest time, I was wondering Crowley because he should be in a bigger fight than this. To be honest, you know, like, no. Honestly, like, this is why the, is he fighting at? This, this, this is his level. Um, <laughs> I'm saying he he should, <laughs> fighting, he, he, he should be getting better, like like an Ennis or like a, he should have faced uh, Rashidi Ellis or something. I'm just saying, like. He, you know, he's undefeated. Well, Rashid Ellis got, got beaten, so that's off the table. Well, I mean, yeah, but he should be in the mix. I don't know. This guy, I don't know. I think Ramos' best days are past him. Yeah, I mean, I mean Crowley's, I mean, I mean, where, where his progression is facing Jose Cito Lopez to now Abel Ramos, I mean, that's that's a fine transition, though, like, I mean, it's still, because Jose Cito Lopez was, is shot. Uh, Abel Ramos, I don't think, is not shot. He's, he's not shot at all. You know, so it's like. Yeah, it's, but he could. Get over. He could get old overnight in this fight, but I still think he got the fire. And if he's still training with his nephew, I don't think like some niggas ain't gonna let you get shot. <laughs> so I, I don't. I think he still got enough for dude. And then Crowley, you know, Crowley's decent. He ain't nothing special. Like he's there to get hit. He comes forward. You know, it should be a good action fight. Um, so possible got- fuckery, like King P alluded to. So what do we got for a prediction, LB? Ramos by I want to say he wins a hard decision like I don't know like Crawley might be because Crawley's in his prime he might like because a part of me feels like Crowley might just outwork him because he's a younger guy more fresher fighter but a part of me feels like doing that he'll could have the wrong fight and get hurt multiple times and not stopped but just hang on and be a, a, a rough, tumble, life or death fight. But um, I didn't see Ramos knock somebody out in a minute, but he got the power. Uh, well, I see Ramos knock somebody out more than Crowley. Ramos actually stopped Omar Figueroa. Like, like, yeah, that, that's true. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. 
No, because 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 Ramos always gets off. Pause. Damn. Like he gets his like he gets his power shots. Like you feel you you're in a fight with him. Um, Ramos by decision. I don't know if he. Ah, fuck. You know what? Ramos by KO. Fuck it. Like did we need some goddamn KOs tonight? That night. So yeah, Ramos by KO. But um, I. I think he could win a decision too by if, if he if he hurts Crowley enough. But I'll I'll go by late KO, maybe eighth. It's a ten round fight, right? It's a twelve rounder. It's a twelve round fight. Oh, twelve rounder, motherfucker. Um it's a, it's an interim title fight. Ugh. Interim? What the fuck? Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Nigga, I right, ten rounds, ten rounds. But although I can see this being a war. Like I, I can see I can I, 10 rounds, I'm going to shut up. Let me mute. 10 rounds, Ramos about stopping. Because I can see this going the distance as well. Word, word. P, what about you? I, I begrudgingly, I'm going to pick Crowley. I think he's going to outwork him, but I think he's going to have some bad moments. I actually think he'll get dropped. Um, I think he's going to have a, a Ugas moment. Like when Ugas got put on Queer Street by Ramos and basically just survived by the skin of his teeth, I could see that kind of happening with with uh, Crowley. So yeah. I mean, Loki Ugas had a lot of those fights, but to, to hear people tell it, you know, Ugas is a world beater now because be bro, crazy. Ugas oh, like Ugas was this like this close to getting stopped. Yeah, I know. I, I remember yeah. this close, this close to getting stopped. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I had to get I had to get on cam just to show you how this close it was. But yeah, <laughs> that nigga needed the visual on that. He's like this close. <laughs> that was some great shit. That nigga's like, if you can go back to fight at from this close. <laughs> so yeah, I could see. I, I, I mean, if if Crowley gets stopped, I would not be surprised. That's what I'm saying. That's why I said it. What I said, like it won't shock me at all. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him the slight edge though. Word. Hey, pilot. What about you? I'm kind of in the same line thinking as P. I feel like it's, it's gonna be a. I feel like it's gonna be a good fight. I feel like this might be a really good fight. Um, back and forth, edge and flows. I pick a decision. I'd probably say Crowley's gonna get a somewhat controversial robbery kind of gift or something. So you think he's gonna win a decision? I think he'll win a decision. And it might not be clear just because I feel like I don't know. He's not that good, but he's undefeated. He can be fed to one of those PBC welters. I don't know. I don't I think Ramos really has to like hurt him or knock him out to win, and I don't think that's gonna happen. So mm-hmm. Rome, what about you? Uh okay, I think I think y'all keep saying Crowley, I mean, Crowley's going to get stopped because y'all know he's going to go in there guns blazing and you fight, you know, head up, just throwing haymakers sitting in there. And they both tee off on each other. You know, they both that type of fighter just let their shots off. So I know uh, Ramos going to give him his little, you know, his little go, but Crowley going to take it by decision. This is gonna be his chance to be like, you know what? I'm the proven undefeated nigga. I'ma stand in there with this nigga. He gonna give me a little tough fight, and then they gonna give me the next fight type shit. I mean, I'm not gonna be impressed if Crowley wins by decision because that's what he that's what he's been doing like his last five fights. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, but I, I mean, I, but I, he winning. Yeah, he winning. He he beating. He, he not setting the world no, no, no. up like he's supposed to. He struggled against Jose Lopez so bad. I, was, I thought, you know, I thought he was gonna knock him out or get you know, at least drop him. I don't think he even dropped him. I no, mean, he maybe dropped he dropped him. him. He dropped him, but he he looked struggle. He looked pretty struggle against Lopez though. Lopez looked super washed. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. He, he, yeah, that's it. He just didn't stop him. That's the that's the thing. It's like if you can't even stop that version, I'm just like, yeah, you know. Now if he stops Ramos, then I'd be impressed. I'm like, okay, like okay, like okay, we got something there. But personally, I think Ramos will probably will will probably like. Put a beating on him. I just, I, well, I, I feel I, like Crowley, like, Crowley got more power than Ramos. Though. No, he doesn't. No, he, no, doesn't. he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. And, 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 honestly, it looked and, like that's it. No, and, and honestly, this is why I feel weird picking Crowley simply because it goes against like what I usually do, especially because like Crowley's a swarmer and Ramos is a puncher. Because like Rome, I like in boxing for in general. 
I always go with like the three styles. And the, like this is this isn't specifically, but like usually in general, I look at at it at as rock paper scissors. You got uh, a po- boxer, puncher, and a swarmer. I always say the boxer beats the puncher, the puncher beats the swarmer, and the swarmer beats the boxer. Rock it's paper like rock scissors paper. type of shit. Yes. So like normally, like Crowley being the swarmer and Ramos being the puncher, usually and generally, I would pick Ramos, but feels weird not picking the the puncher against the swarmer because you say the puncher is just gonna get his punch off against the nigga that's just rushing him. the swarm yeah because the swarmer is gonna give the swarmer gives the puncher plenty of chances to get his punch off because he's swarming him and he's leaving himself open he's gonna yeah. he's gonna try but to outwork- thing, then you gotta factor in the level like the skill level of the puncher and the skill level of the swarmer yeah i was gonna say that like it, 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 if you're a better boxer than the guy as a puncher, you can you can win. You know, like Fury against Wilder in a sense, you, you know, make you can adapt and you know do certain things. So I don't know. Well, if you're the better in time puncher than the swarmer. But Fury, uh, Fury beating Wilder goes what I'm saying. The the boxer beat the puncher. Like, well, he did it both ways. Like the second time he did it with I say. <laughs> no, he no, but he's beating, he's beating his ass. We forgot Fury, you know. We forgot Fury wasn't a power puncher all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, Fury beat him both ways. Like beat he ass, boxed yeah, him, yeah. and then he damn swarmed him, mugged him. Yeah, on Black History Month. God damn, that was terrible. Crazy. <sighs> yeah, but, oh, shout out to uh, Beth. To this day. To this day. To this day. I still be twerking in the gym. Well, let's, 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 let's go to the Ramos that's actually gonna win. Oh, nigga, I didn't say my prediction yet. Oh, go, okay, go. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, what, what, what do you got, Pat? What do you got, Pat? What you got, yeah, Pat? So pretty much, like I said, yo, Ramos by KO, and I think I'm putting like a nice round KO. You had already said you were picking it by KO. What do you mean? You yeah, I didn't say the round though, oh, nigga. Okay, okay, okay. I was gonna say. Yeah, nigga, you got, you, you got, you got to think before you speak, nigga. <laughs> I heard you speak. You're like, oh, I didn't give my prediction. You, I thought you did give your prediction. You should have said the round when you made your prediction. This is all, nigga. <laughs> That's why anyway. I said think before you speak. <laughs> but yes, the, and then we have the other Ramos on there, uh, the nephew of Abel Ramos, Jesus Ramos, facing someone who we've criticized before in the past, but now he's finally stepping up in Joey Spencer. I mean, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 what? D. Joey Spencer has a significant fight? You, you mean, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, you mean the American version of Josh Kelly has a fight that we care about? <laughs> no way. You mean the former, you mean the former PBC version of Brandon Lee? <laughs> Jason Litzow 2.0? <laughs> now I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. When I got hit back in the boxing, they were pushing Joey Spencer like he was a hot up and coming prospect in like five, six years. This nigga's to finally get on the main card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, and, and, <laughs> yo, that's been the slowest half-hearted push of all time. Like right. prospect, yeah, oh yeah, all the PBC prospects of the years, but he hasn't he hasn't beaten anybody like like no one. And then there were a couple of times the dude almost got upset. So it's just like. And then Vito Milanicki came along and ended up being in the same spot <laughs> during this yeah, man's time. I've always liked Spencer better than him in the, the zone version. What's his name? White Chocolate? Man, uh, v- Vito... <sighs> Vito, I like Spencer Vito, better. Vito, and jo- Vito and Joey are like future and designer. Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think Vito's a little better, but... Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I guess it don't matter if they fight in the same comp and like one nigga started a couple years earlier. Right. You know, because I mean, with, with Ramo, I mean, with Spencer, at least, because now, because it wakes up worse because he's fight, he fights at 154, which of course is a, is a, is a killer's division. You know, like, you know, that's what it's supposed to be. Like, you know, like, you, you, you're not there with no types, no types of killers. Like, so it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> You know, yeah, I mean, he, he was getting pushed heavy. Like when when PBC launched on Fox, he was getting all these interviews and shit. I was like, okay, this guy, you know, back in 2018, I, you know, I thought he faced a Lubin or something by now. But this dude, you know, finally. Yeah, but he's now back, now he's right. facing, but now he's facing someone like Jesus Ramos, who's actually fought his who's actually fought competition, who's actually yeah. who actually has actual some has good ass wins. So it's like he's you know so. 
I mean, personally, I mean, my prediction is Joey Spencer's going to get his ass whooped. Like, I'm not, I mean, <laughs> like, I'm not even going to mention it. Uh, this, this is the hard one, yo. What kind of ass whooping are we talking about, though? Like, a, a knockout or, like, a loss-loss or... I mean, I think he's, nah. I think he's, I think he's going to get schooled and then knocked out. Mm. You know, I think so it might I'm, be early. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's probably going to be, like, a, a seventh-round knockout for Jesus Ramos. Hmm. 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 I, I, because I, I don't see it in Joey Spencer. I, I don't see anything in him. Like now, if interesting. He, I mean, honestly, the odds would probably be great. Like, I, it, it would be an upset if Joey Spencer knocks out Jesus Ramos. It would be, an, it would be a legit upset. It would be, but this is the thing. I can see Joey Spencer. Like, he has the style, the attributes. He has everything to be Ramos. Like, he, he really does. And I feel like this could be one of those nights where, like. We're all like, nah, he ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> and then he just pulls away and puts on the performance of his life. Puts on the clinic somehow. Yeah, he do because this is the thing. Ramos is there to be hit sometimes. To me, he's yeah, like yeah. a um a more aggressive Jose Ramirez. I, I think Ramos is gonna press the issue. I want to see yeah. if Spencer can. Like, I think Ramos could probably knock him out early, but I want to see if Spencer can, you know. I want to see if he can do something again. Because, I mean, looking at this guy's box wreck, Ramos, he literally beat Brian Mendoza, who's literally facing, you know, Fundora. You know what I'm saying? So this guy is 22 years old. Like, I feel like 154, he should be getting more of a push, honestly. Yeah, no, Jesus Ramos actually, I mean, he's actually beating good opponents in his last Yeah, season. he's getting there. Yeah. Like, he needs another, like, and this is why this fight is so good, because now he's fighting a young, in their prime, shit or get off the pot type of fighter. Right. So this fight is for both of them, and, and you know if, if Spencer wins and he looks impressive, then you know we got Caleb Plant 3.0. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like it's upside for both. Spencer's not terrible. I mean, you know, he's basic. It's not like, I mean, no, the matchmaking is is made like look, just so him. niggas understand, you know what we're talking about. If you've been listening to Ring Game for years, you know how we went on about Wilder and how his competition and yada, 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 and how they kind of just groomed them to just, hey, look, we know the boxing skills is mediocre, but he has his fight changing power. Let's kind of groom him to get the title and kind of look after him and make sure he stay on course. Like, you get the feeling that they're doing that with Joey Spencer as well, because the competition is the same, but it's not heavyweight division. So you almost got to be a little more careful. And on top of that, Joey Spencer don't have no crazy attribute where you're like, uh, you're almost guaranteed to win if you have this certain level of competition. Yeah, he's straight up and so down. Like, it's like, hard him, to do that shit. I've seen him look decent sometimes, you know, get some knockouts, but I've seen yeah. him struggle a couple of times. So, I mean, this is a, a true test. Like, if he gets plastered and beat up pretty quick, then obviously he was a, a, a fraud, you know, but... We'll see. I mean, you never know. The term exposed will be used a lot on Twitter when <laughs> after this fight, but I, I feel like you can only really use it for Spencer. I know people hate that term, but sometimes it fits, yo. Know, like, and there's no other word you want to use. Yeah, if, if Spencer loses, he will get it. That's an that is exposed. Yeah, like, this one of those, like, yeah, it's, it's guaranteed that the X word, the E word, is going to be all up on your timeline. I'm, I mean, he said the X word. Like yeah. that. he forgot there was an E in front of the Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, because you got X'd out the fucking picture, nigga. Like that's it. Like you crossed out. I mean, Vita Milanek, you lost in Christmas. You, you know, you still getting pushed. Like he's undefeated. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, good yeah, but he couldn't. He tried to see. The thing is, he tried to at least run his loss back, but then it ended up not happening. And then I guess he went on, but. I thought, what happened, Pat? I think the dude couldn't make weight or some shit. Or didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to, yeah. It was, it was some fuckery shit, but that's the thing. That's why even at the prospect level, you can't, you got to take everybody serious. Because right. the one day you taking a fight at 90% instead of 100%, that's the one day that motherfucker treats you like you're his world title. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like El like Real. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and Colbert, basically. Yeah, but so, um, so what? So so what do we have for predictions for Ramos and Spencer? Uh, Pilot, since you were talking, what do you? What do, how do you see the fight going? Um, 
I think Spencer's going to take good account of himself. Like, you know, again, when I got heavy back into boxing, like 2016-ish, I was like, man, this white boy is getting pushed. He's not that good, but we'll see how he goes. So, I, I, I mean, he, Ramos could just put his foot on his ass and knock him out quick or something, but I feel like, you know, Spencer will last, but I'll pick Ramos by a knockout in the 10th round. All right. LB, what about you? Spencer decision. Um, oh, wow. If I had money, I would like to do like the to put some on it. I I would throw some on there. Like it's it, it's this more of a gut pick for me. Like I I pick with my I pick with this all like literally I pick all the time with this. But I feel like this one of those ones where just like he sees it like look man, Caleb Plant already got a loss. America needs more white boxers at the elite level. Um, this is my chance. Fuck it. You can't have like yo, like and he's probably looking at like Plant gonna get knocked out. Yeah, can it every white boy on this car <laughs> can get knocked out? Every it's, nah. kinda, it's kinda crazy, it's white versus Hispanic on this mainly. It is low low key, yeah. this is like like it's not London versus hey, UK versus hey, Mexico. Hey, all, all, the, all the white boys might lose tonight. All the white boys might lose on Saturday night. It's crazy, That's the crazy part. Yo, you you never, Mexico, never Spencer you is the one looking at it like I think I'm the white boy with the biggest chance. <laughs> Did Mexico beat Japan in the baseball thing? No, they lost. They 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 choked. What? Damn. Japan got them players, yo. Them anime niggas, them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but I, but I feel you, LB, because I, I thought um, when the fight got announced, like, oh, Spencer could definitely win. But looking at fucking Ramos having nineteen wins, fifteen knockouts, he might, yeah, he might fucking hurt. Right, I think we'll you see. see an early knockout. I'm just like, damn, I could see a late knockout, a early like. Wow, that's like he just runs in there and just cold cocks dudes. Like, nah, I, I, I picked ten, but I'm just saying, Spencer's you know, Spencer's been literally been moved so slow in five, six years, you know, four or five years. I'm like, you know, yeah, something's wrong. Like, we would have figured out how good he was by now if he was on top right. You would have faced a good shade by then, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, like, we would have figured it out by now because top <laughs> rank do they prospect differently? The and this guy Ramos, yeah. and this guy Ramos, yeah, this guy Ramos is facing. Him. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One, one of y'all niggas at the top. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. well, pilot first, please. You know I'm saying this guy Ramos literally like three, four fights ago um, beat Mendoza, who's fighting the six five fucking freak of nature, Fundora. You know what I'm saying? So like, and he beat him. So it's like there's levels, but you know, you never know. Maybe he rises to the occasion. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you definitely can. Like, oh, wrong, on wrong. What would you was about to say? Yeah, I was, I was saying that nigga Joey Spencer, he's like a boring fighter. He just sits and waits for counter punches all all fight. Like that shit, is, his stance is kind of ugly. I don't like it. Like I feel like I feel like Ramos is just gonna run up and just fucking dog this nigga. Like like yo, move nigga. Like yo. Honestly, I feel like that, Ramos. That Ramos very well could happen. Like, Ramos go KO on sixth round. I just like Ramos style way better than the nigga Joey Spencer. Like, <laughs> And I don't know. He's just Joey, like, Joey, wait for the counters, like you said, because he's fighting guys who fall for that. At that level, you're supposed to be able to counter punch those 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 niggas. But if you're just yeah. sitting in the pocket and just countering everything, it's like, okay, nigga, where you? That's why I understand what you're saying. Like he ain't got no signature thing where you'd be like, oh yeah, that's that Joey Spencer shit. Like no, you he, he straight up, he, yeah, he's straight up and down. Yeah, like, he's, he's just, just a boxer. Yeah. He basically, up. he basically planned without the mistake blackness. He, you know, he's basically straight up and down, <laughs> basic, basic white boy. I'm he just saying, it's true, him. it's true. No, yeah, you get this in power. You get this in power against, you know, guy you should, you know, hurt. But we'll see. I don't know. Maybe he's better than. <laughs> you got the welterweight starter package. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so all y'all picking his ass to lose. Oh, P, what's your prediction? I'm going uh, Ramos eighth round stoppage. Yeah, Ramos is getting them out of there. Yeah, damn, I'm on, I'm on that pilot pack game. <laughs> I mean, look, let's say, I mean, I mean, it's just because I mean, because Ramos, basically, he, he he at least has had the fights where we can at least we can know where his level is. Yeah, where Spencer, Spencer, we, we don't because 
he's been babies pretty much. I mean, just a fight that you know I low key expect to be wrong, but it just it's a feeling. It's it's one of those like because because uh, there was one fight where Ramos did kind of struggle recently. Santa Maria, yeah. I mean, he he beat Santa Maria pretty thoroughly, but he didn't get him out of there with the decision. You know? Yeah, the Santa Maria, because yeah. Santa Maria did some things that worked. It was that fight that really was that made me feel like, damn, like and he's a one forty guy. He literally moved the one fifty four to fight his first fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying, yeah. So, I mean, and that's the bad part. A nigga from one forty is able to have some moments against you. I can't, uh, dude. Like I can't picture. Let me see. Imagine Vince Phillips going up the dead 154 to fight the Trinidad that just stopped Vargas. <laughs> yeah, that would be insane. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, um That's that's why I kinda look cause he he was looking frustrated in certain spots, he was getting out boxed, but he won clearly, but yeah, like and I'm looking at it like so he Spencer got more power, more physical strength. I think, you know, when those counters connect, he could change the fight. So that's how I'm looking at it. But yeah, like conventional wisdom, you guys are right. And I'm not even going to argue against y'all on that because, like, Ramos could really just run out there and drop kick this nigga. So. But if Spencer looks impressive and holds his own, you know, he might get that, uh, you know. Generosity. Yeah, I mean, if he looks impressive, I mean, I, 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 I'll, I'll retract my comment about him. You know, yeah. if, if he actually, now if he wins by a dubious decision or a gift, then yeah, no, it stands. But no, they got to see who's more worthy of the, the press afterwards. That's what it is. Because both could go, both careers could just skyrocket with a decision. Mm hmm. Spencer, for obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, but and, and Ramos for obvious reasons, he's a boxing family. Like he's on the up and up. Like you know, and, and when we look at 154 at PBC, he's really the only young guy right now that you know. If he gets a, a nice little knockout here, you know, on the pay per view, yeah, you know, he could definitely get a big fight. So okay, damn. So everybody, so four against one. All right, cool, cool. And now we get to the main event. Hold on, wait, that was three fights already? Yeah. Damn, okay, not bad. Oh, well, I enjoyed it then. Yeah, it went by that fast. All right, keep going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, we got David Benavides and Caleb Plant. And, you know, obviously, you know, we mentioned the 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 mid all access. But fight wise, we do we do expect the fight to be, we expect it to be, you know, something more than mid. We expect it to be almost fight of the year type of caliber. Like, because you basically you have different styles of fighting. You have the hatred between two fighters, you know, and like I said, and plenty of plenty of arguments on whose intangibles will, you know, will be greater in the ring. Um, yeah. So yeah, Rome, I'll let you go first. So what do you think about this fight, and who do you think will win? I got Benavidez. I don't like Caleb Plant. I just don't like him. I, I <laughs> Damn. Want- I want him to lose, and I like I like Benavidez style. Caleb Plant, Caleb Plant's good though, man. Like he's real good. Like, it's it's a it's a good ass fight. I just don't. I mean, I can't. I really I really want to see this fight because you know this shit is like big. This shit big, and bad blood between these niggas is gonna make the fight even better. But I just hope Benavidez can pull this shit out because I don't want this nigga plant to even talk more shit than this nigga already talked. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that nigga win, he gonna go on a rampage on the shit talking. That's gonna be like Pat with the Lomachenko Salido uh, prediction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, yeah, and and I, and I feel you wrong because I don't like Caleb Plant either. Like I, 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 I let him know. Maybe like, because y'all niggas six four. What is it like? Oh, let's put it no. I I I start criticizing him around the Porky fight. I was like, "Yo, Porky's injured. He didn't get the. He didn't get rid of this nigga." I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And whereas David Benavides got rid of Porky, like got you know, <laughs> yeah, highlight highlighted him. Yeah, he cobbled the shit out of him, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So and then and then when you know when Plant did come champion, I'm like, oh, okay, good. He beat Uzgateki, okay, you know, fine. But then you know he goes on a. <laughs> 
Then he goes on a mission. Dude, dude, look, see, this is the thing. Like, yo, I'm sorry, Pat. Time the fuck out. Like, yo. But you got to put a little bit more respect on Plant for that win. Like, the whole. And that, that's why Rome even laughed. Because you're like. <laughs> Yeah, he beat you, Kentucky. Fine, like let's fine, like let's not act like the man ain't drop him twice. Fine, like okay, let, let's not act like he wasn't the underdog in that fight. Like, let me interject. Let me interject. Since I've yes. listened to y'all before I even joined, I know El, I know who LB is gonna pick for this fight. I know you're gonna pick Plant, huh? No, he likes Plant. He's he, he's. A I know he's a, he's a Plant fan. Yeah, no, no and he's a good. He's, I'm he's, not he's actually gonna pick Plant this time. Uh-oh. Listen. I had picked Plant to beat Canelo, but I'm not gonna pick up for Benavida. I thought Canelo. I thought yeah. Canelo. Would, I thought Canelo would body Plant. Like that was even that was in the thought in my mind that was not going to happen. Caleb has a good plan. I'm I'm sorry. I meant to say like because I was going to say Caleb has a good style against Canelo. I was going to say Plant like, but I said both their names. But yeah. Plant has a good style against Canelo. He's a mover. Canelo don't move. His footwork is like trash compared to a guy like Plant. It's just Plant had the wrong strategy, wrong game plan. And there's supposedly a bigger range for Plant Benavides, obviously, like compared to um, Zoo and. Yo, Benavides. honestly, I'm to the point the ring don't matter like that if you know what the fuck you're doing. I mean, in this particular case, Plant. I mean, Plant is a six-round fighter, and that was made clear during the title run before Canelo bodied him. Like he once after six rounds, he's a he he becomes a he comes he's vulnerable. He's a he's a liability. So and he then he's an average puncher at that. I mean, the Darrell thing, you know, that's he, another for his size. They're hyping yes, it, they're hyping it, bro. I don't know they're how he knocked that nigga Darrell out. They're, like they're, they're hyping it, bro. I mean, I don't know if it's, I know Bedman Edwards is a good trainer and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But they're hyping up this win, you know. Like, man, for man, time- bro, man, man, bro, man is not the coach you want in your biggest title fight. Come on now, what are we? Doing? No, no, it's not. It's not. But I mean, what we can see is the plan had a fucking highlight reel knockout that we never expected because oh, we all saw the defender. Oh, I, 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 I'm just saying, saying. That's 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 it wasn't a lucky punch. It was the perfect punch. He jumped. Hold on, nigga. I'm picking Benavidez, but Benavidez couldn't do what Plan did to him, and that hyped a lot of people to think. Plant can definitely win this fight. Yeah, and the funny thing is too is people people, people keep on mentioning Benavides the Gavro fight, but Ronald Gavro is a big guy himself. He's not that playing. Was like, that was like seven years ago. No, yeah. Benavides. Hold on, time out. Benavides is like 21, 22 at the time. He's like the, the youngest. He's already he, twenty five. He's already a two time like, champion. Guy too. Yeah, all these motherfuckers is big. Sixty eight. But the thing What's is, so Gavro, like that Gavro fight, yeah, Benavides, he, I mean, I, I, personally, thought, I, I personally thought Gavro did win that fight, but at least Benavides did run that shit back, and he beat the shit out of Gavro for it. Like, he really <laughs> beat the shit out of him. Like, he did. Gavro hasn't did. fought on TV since. So it's like, if he got, because he, he got like a broken jaw, all types of shit. So that's what, with Caleb Plant, Caleb Plant also busts up very easily. Too. So that's another thing. Benavides listen, is gonna keep coming. Pause. Listen, and- listen. <laughs> if, if Benavides beat that nigga, how he beat Anthony Durrell, have niggas jumping in the ring, stopping the fight and shit, like, <laughs> like he beat Durrell better than Plant beat Durrell. Plant knocked him out, cool. But the way he was, the way Benavides was beating Durrell, this nigga was using him like a speed bag, nigga. Yeah, rolling, but, rolling, but, but in that fight too, and uh, and the, the with that with that fight though, Darrell, I mean, Darrell was actually giving Benavides a little trouble. Like there wasn't like a one side. Yeah, fight. It, it wasn't until no, like was it ended the But I mean, like, Benavides is pretty. Benavides is pretty young. I mean, he fought Plant before. I mean, he fought. Darrell before Plant did, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, and yeah, he's, I mean, yeah, Benavides is the first person to stop Darrell, but he stopped him because of the cut eye. It wasn't because the cut, of the, the cut, yeah, It was the, the cut, cut eye that actually got him that win. And the, the pressure was going to do it. Like, yeah, he was working. Darrell was boxing him. And, like, see, the thing is, like, Darrell was kind of showing you how Caleb Plant is going to fight Benavides. You're going to do the distance and try to outbox him. But I feel like you need to di- you need to pu- like the punches you need to beat Benavides. I don't see Caleb Plant throwing them like that. Like I feel like you need overhand rights okay. and you need body punches for Benavides. Stopping punches. Yeah, for the longest, yeah. you know, this fight is a long time in the making. Like I felt like for the longest time, when this fight was something to, to think of. I was like, I definitely beat Benavides seventy thirty. 
after the knockout, I'd probably say sixty forty, but I still think Benavides will walk him down. You know. Yeah, and, and I think too. We'll will, I think Benavides will probably stop him in like maybe the tenth round or something like that. That's where I'm. You know, that, that's where I'm coming with because, uh, like I said, Benavides I think is just the wrong type of fighter for Plants and his and his and his known weaknesses. Like, because he hasn't fixed any of his weaknesses really. You know, like the stamina yeah. issue. Like, you know, like and Benavides can go a hard twelve. You know, no, he's, he's not gonna give up. Yeah, he don't. No, yeah, he got fast hands and he don't stop coming. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Like he goes, he goes hard but for it's all twelve. You know what I'm saying? So, footwork kind of trash. But I mean, he's a good boxer. He's a decent. You know, his footwork kind of flat for him. But you know, because he beats you off the explosive exchanges. Like, yeah. it almost like how Pacquiao doesn't. He doesn't cut the ring off, but he steps to you. He walks you down, and then he just launches combinations. Mm-hmm. That's what Benavidez does, and it's like Caleb Plant has to figure out a way to stifle that and get off first, and then get out of the pocket. Now, and, Benavidez, you know, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Oh no! no I was just gonna say, like, it that takes a lot of energy to do that, especially if you're not a guy who hits hard where. You could move like if you're like I say a Thurman who has some type of stopping power, yeah, and it kind of give you a little, what's that, uh, a little leeway to move and kind of change the fight. Like you don't have to fight, you don't have to be carried so fast. Mm-hmm. That's the thing with Plant, like he gets carried fast and he kind of burns himself out. Um, Brad had him sitting on his punches more, and you saw that in the little training clips before the with the rail fight, but. You know, he's going to be needing some more shit just besides sitting down on his punches for uh, Benavidez. And you're going to have to really lose it, use his size in the fight because I didn't like how What's he looked size? against Canelo. What's the size difference between them? I always thought Benavidez was bigger. I know, I know the first time they faced off, there was no face off, but is Benavidez that much bigger than Plant? No, I do. Like, dude, like you know? Hila Plant is like 6'2 in his damn self. Nah, Benavides yeah. is bigger. Benavides is bigger. Benavides is bigger, but it's not bigger in the sense where like, like it's got damn Fondora Lubin bigger. Nah, he's yeah, got some size. He got some size on him. If pause. you look at them side by pause. If you look at them side by side, pause. They got some size. Pause. Yeah, Benavides is a switchy cruiserweight. I mean, the yeah, he's Jackson bigger. But it, he's all bigger. I'm saying, like Caleb Plant, isn't the small ass motherfucker he, dude just trying to make him out to be. He ain't a frail motherfucker like that. Yeah, he looked kind of yeah, jacked. He's not a frail dude. He, like, huh. like, what's the saying? They say, oh, you don't have to have enough power. You just need to have enough power and strength for diplomatic leverage. And what sometimes you have fighters. Hmm? What type of saying is that? Who the fuck said that? <laughs> no, it, 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 like, you just need a. You don't have to have overwhelming power you don't have to have great power sometimes you don't have to have good power you just need enough power for leverage and i mean in certain situations like like a haney motherfucker yeah like like a devin haney like a like a floyd mayweather dudes who have enough power so you could just respect them or they could get out of a tight situation you could might walk somebody into something that could hurt them buzz them real quick make you get off the ropes that's enough power like that's more power than a guy like a Milanazi, Algeri, Corey Spinks. Because mm-hmm. when you get to that level, his defense is the damn deciding factor. Yeah, you ain't no sweet pea. You ain't gonna have to plant defense ain't. Yeah, plant defense ain't on that level. Well, I was gonna ask. Let me ask you real quick. Let me ask all y'all real quick. People mm-hmm. general people generally think Plant's a better boxer than Benavidez, but is he that much better of a boxer that he can definitely win a clear decision against him? You know what I'm saying? Like, if, I don't think so. I think like, Benavidez. I would say they're trash. equal. They equal. Yeah, yeah they're kind of yeah. equal. Defense yeah. and you know pressuring, like they're pretty equal in fight in in boxing styles. Yeah, we're fighting. talking about boxing. T- the re- look, the only reason niggas be saying Plan is more skilled is because his style of boxing. He has to move around the ring, use his footwork, it's use his jab. It's a lot of yeah. Like, to be honest, to be honest, he fights, he, he fights like a nigga. He fights like a slicker than. Smooth, you know, a little bit. <laughs> it looks nice. It looks nice. It looks nice. It's, a- it's athletic. It's aesthetically pleasing. But the thing is, people don't give credit to boxers that style is based on coming forward, pressuring, in, throwing compact punches, working the body, all that hard man labor. Like Sean Porter. Sean Porter, 
I respect some Porter style and that kind of you know that kind of yeah. But Nick, dude, there. like, and Sean Porter is like like the Benavidez looks more aesthetically pleasing than Sean Porter. It's like a difference. Like mm-hmm. Plan is like right here, Benavidez is right here, and Porter is like right here. And then Mar- oh. Marco Huck is like right. Here. <laughs> so we just like let la- layers, nigga levels. But yeah, it's only because he's stick and move. Any any boxer that stick and move, and you compare him to a puncher or a swarmer, and no matter how technically sound the puncher or swarmer looks or is, they're gonna say the nigga who stick and move is the better boxer or more skilled. It's just the way it is, people. But Rome is correct; they're about equal. I agree. So the biggest flaw in Benavides is the goddamn slow ass footwork and plant not sitting down on his punches and gassing. Like, but that's not a technical. That's more. You think you think Benavides will be Canelo? Shit. Benavides is a dog walk Canelo. Why okay. you think the fight ain't happened yet? You say everybody a dog. Hear me out. Hear me out. A couple I years never ago, said a dog walk Canelo. Uh, nigga. I said he could beat him. A couple years ago, a couple years ago, I think Canelo would chop him down, you know, break him like some reefer. But I feel like Canelo's kind of a, on a downward slope. I don't know. Best no, boxer over twenty years. So it's a hard. The fight was too hard for him to take. Like Canelo could chop that nigga down. Oh, he was he was dodging. Yeah. He was dodging Benavidez. Uh, In the way, yeah. Benavidez. I mean, Canelo since 154, 160, 160 he kind of chooses who he wants to fight. I guess I don't know. He chooses easy fights. He choose, look, and that's that goes back to the shit I'm saying. Canelo picked boxers, boxers, Ooh. guys who look skilled, and oh yeah, he could dance around the ring and pop a jab. Da, 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 da. But the niggas who would give him the hard fights, the motherfuckers who could box and come at you, want to beat your ass. He's like, no, chill, hold on, wait. Uh, he actually- he ain't face nobody with, with no, with you know, dynamic. You know what I mean? Like exactly. Golovkin's the closest you get to somebody who's gonna fight him and box him and put pressure on him. And he got robbed. And, and there look, you go. So and and Plant and Bill Saunders did decent against Canelo. You know what I'm saying? Like Plant, yeah, they, they did, but they don't have the temperament. They don't have look. Like what? You see how Floyd wasn't afraid to stand in front of Canelo at times and let off shots and still pivot and defend? You got to be willing to put hands on Canelo. The guys like Charlo and Benavidez are willing to do that. That's why Canelo didn't choose to fight them. Though Canelo's still the, the favorite in those fights. He could very well win. Maul hasn't looked great. He's been damn inactive. Benavidez is damn uh, uh, missing weight on coke, all types of shit. Andre irrelevant. God, dude, you see what I'm saying? Not Andre, but Benavidez. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All them niggas is having having the upper like Canelo was the favorite to beat them, but they were hard fights. So he said, "Fuck it." You yeah, rather look, hard look. What Chris Alzuri did to Amir Khan is like I don't like to say flukes. But in a way, it sort of is. It just, and that's why I respect Chris Algeria. And the point I'm trying to make is, if you're a complete boxer, you should be able to adapt and fully change your style for a whole fucking fight and be effective. Huh. Plant and a lot of these dudes who are boxers cannot do that. Yeah, no. Nigga, and he, dude, dude, who, who, the, who the fuck told Canelo to fight before? Who? Did okay. you? <laughs> Did the thousands of people around the world clamor for Bavol who was looking mid as fuck for like five years? Yeah. <laughs> There's a nigga on this podcast who saw Bavol look mid in person, nigga. <laughs> hey, Uncle, look, when I got back in the box and Bavol better be for the shit, but and the Bavol just ended up being born, you know, when I got back into yeah, it. Dude, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even Co- Kovalev was still doing this thing. Everybody, Bivol was the one that was like, "Okay, we know he's better than he looks. Like, 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 get to it, nigga. Like, it was the Chappelle skit. Like, wrap it up, nigga. Like, <laughs> wrap it up, box. It ain't about beating, dude. It's sometimes it's the fight. Is the fight hard enough? Bivol and Golovkin are easier fights on your body and physical stature." Then a Charlo and Benavidez back to back. 
And remember, he would have made more money fighting them niggas. How much proof y'all got to need? Like, now, Benavidez didn't have himself in the best position. He lost his belt, this, that, that. But it just looks bad for Canelo to, at 168, to get all the belts, go and fight Bivol, go and fight Golovkin, fight Ryder. Well, and Benavidez has been the scariest, biggest, most dangerous nigga this whole time. Yeah, hear me out, hear me out. Benavidez has been the interim WBC champ for a minute, and WBA has been Morel. You know, Morel. <laughs> You know, Morel's not gonna fight. Maybe if Plant loses, you know, maybe he'll fight Plant eventually. But you know, Morel's not gonna get a shot. But I do respect Benavides because he didn't mention an interview. His resume is lacking. He didn't mention, like, you know. He knows that he's lacking because he niggas ain't fighting him. Yo, yeah. if he if he been dunking him this long, if he stops Plant, there's no way Canelo is ever fighting Benavides. See now especially, you're getting it. <laughs> especially earlier, what round did? Especially if he stops him, you know, it was earlier in press and the and the eleventh. So. If, yeah. Maybe we get some like earlier than that. Then, yeah. And, yeah. and with Plant coming off a knockout win, niggas can't say, oh, Plant was, it's not a Ricky Hatton. Um, was that like, uh, who's the nigga he looked, he, he looked trash before against Melanaji? Uh, Damn, yeah. Pat, you know, you supposed to know, nigga. <laughs> was it Juan Lescano? Who, who was it? It was either no, yeah, because it, was, it, was, it, was, it wasn't Urango. You, he beat Urango. No, it he was beat like, Urango ass. Yeah, yeah, it was what's going on. Yeah. Okay, goddamn, thank you. Okay, yeah, it's not like Plant had a fight like that where he looked obviously bad, and you're like, all right, this nigga losing his next fight. No, he knocked out a motherfucker that y'all didn't think he could knock out. So yes, if Benavidez dog walks Plant and gets him out of there under six rounds, yes, it's gonna look bad if Canelo doesn't fight Benavidez at the end of the year. Yeah, and, and it's, it's gonna be an it's gonna be an official duck then. Right yeah, now it's just it, it, it's gonna feel like ducks. a duck. It's gonna feel like a duck. But if he if he ends up fighting Baval again, which is so pointless, because you know Baval will beat him again, obviously. But, uh, we all want to see Baval fight Bitter B, So everybody is just gonna be that, angry exactly. at Canelo. Yeah, and, exactly. and if Canelo doesn't face doesn't face Benavides, then Benavides then Benavides will be the new WBC champion because that's a Mando. So, you know, that's how he'll be stripped of the belt. Yeah. If, no, no, if, if, oh, he just fought Ben Bolt. No one told him to. That's like me saying, look, okay, I want you to fight this. We're, we're all in fifth grade, and you're the new kid. Like, well, I need you to you know, fight this sixth grader that be taking our snacks, running shit. No, then you'll the you be in the game. You'll prove yourself. Instead of saying, ah, you know what? I could fight. This. I could probably take this sixth grader. You just think to yourself, you know what? Nah, nigga, I need to fuck up one of them eighth graders. And then you go around the corner and you fuck with them eighth graders and they beat your ass. And then you run to us talk about, oh man, I ain't ducked the sixth grader, nigga. I tried to fight the eighth grader. Like, yeah. nigga, no one told you to. And now you gotta keep fighting the eighth grader until he wins. Thank you. Oh, there you go. And perfect. Well, That's exactly we'll what's happening now. But they should be going to high school. Like Spence and Canelo, I'm sorry to bring it up, but they kind of hook. I, I respect what they did in their division. They made their mark, but they're holding up the division with those belts and not making any moves. You know what I mean? I don't know. Well, Spence going to be announcing a fight soon, so we'll see. But uh, we'll see. It better be 147. That's all I But we got to say Spence and Crawford. He can't just throw it all to Spence. Is Crawford oh, yeah, holding yeah, up yeah. shit too? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's not with that blame for sure. Yeah. yeah but, yeah, but with, but at least with, with Canelo though, I mean Canelo has all the belts with him, but he has he has to fight a 168 opponent. So like I said, you know that's why Benavidez point has all these high stakes. So I know I gave my prediction, Rome gave his prediction. Uh, LB, your prediction? Benavidez is in six. I mean not six. Um, I think he's gonna beat the shit out of Plant. Um, eleventh round. No, no. Um, eighth eighth round knockout. Wow, six, eight, eleven. Nigga, you was going up and down for a little. Dude, because this is the thing. Like, I think planet plan is improved. He he's gonna damn stay in there, and I think he's gonna do some things. Bread's gonna help him out with some shit. He's gonna he's gonna uh, bitter. <laughs> Yo, this is drinking today, nigga. You been drinking. I ain't even drink, nigga. I ain't even touch this fucking wine, nigga. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, plan, plan's gonna beat her. It's gonna be a fight. He's gonna give a good account of himself, but I think uh, Benavidez is just gonna run him fast, and he's just gonna burn him out. And despite how good Plant looks, he's just gonna get stopped. And I'm saying eighth round in a good fight. Plant might even win three or four rounds. 
It probably will, you know. Like I said, it'll, you know, because like, I mean, usually, I mean, when he's when he's not gassing, he does actually win some rounds. So, you know, but we'll definitely see. Yeah, him. Clint got to make the fight boring. Yeah. The less contact, the better for him, not for us. Or yeah. niggas in the stands clutching a beer, ready to throw. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like it, the, the more distance he has, and I hope Benavidez practice getting off on a good first step. Cause that determine these type of fights that first step whoever if the, your first step is good yeah you're getting the plan there and if plant first step is good to evade that he's getting them counters he's getting away so yeah first step a from benavidez <laughs> all right king p your prediction it's gonna be a real good fight um I could see the uh, for I could see the first half of the fight um, going to Plant. So I think Plant's going to use the ring. I think Plant's going to use his superior footwork. Because uh, for all the things I say about Benavidez, he's a good fighter. But damn it, whenever he's punching, even with the combinations, it just looks like he's punching in quicksand, like so slow, like with the feet, like he never, like I don't know. It's just that that's going to be an issue, but. Plant being the six round fighter that he is is gonna tire out by the later parts, and then he's gonna get the beating. He's gonna get all the hands put on him, especially now because he's with Breadman and he wants to sit down on his punches more, and he likes to throw his hook more. But and he and he throws it with like heavy with with bad intentions, but that's just gonna make him tire out even more. So yeah, he's he's gonna he's gonna have success, and then by the sixth round. I see Benavidez taking over, and I think he stops him in the tenth. So okay, yeah. So uh, so pilot, you know, will you make this a clean sweep? What do you think? Um, yeah. Again, for the longest time, I thought Benavidez would walk through him and beat him, which I still think is going to happen in the ninth round. I do give Plant a better chance. If Plant somehow knocks this guy out, I'm going to say he's on board. Fuck it. Sorry, I'm just saying. If he, <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm just saying it, it, it can happen. You know, it's boxing. It can happen. I'm, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Dude, I think, him, um, him being have, have, have him, do you read Breadman's mail bags? There's no way he would. That would ruin both their careers if it come no, out. I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But I think Benavidez at the end of the day will end up splitting this misogynistic culture vulture. Um, Plant's a good boxer. He had a good story, but I feel like. You know, Benavidez's work ethic, being a fucking fat kid. I, I think he's he's gonna just walk him down and knock him out in the ninth, ninth round. Okay, so we have a clean sweep. So yeah, so but everyone thinks though, Plant will at least give Benavidez a hard fight, at least a good fight, at least. I think the I mean, scoring will be like Laura been- Wood. <laughs> You said it's gonna be like Laura Wood. I'm gonna see the scoring wise. It's like gonna be like you know Wood's gonna be winning the fight. I feel like maybe you know in the first four or five rounds, but Benavidez will end up you know. Doing. I can also see that too because I I think like they might. I mean, unless there's some knockdowns that happen, I can see it probably just judges might keep it within a couple points, give or take. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, but uh, like I said, though, this fight has a lot of, you know, we, we just hope, though, that this hatred, even though they're not portraying it on all access, you know, it does spill over eventually into the ring and the ring action lives up to the hatred. Because <laughs> this was supposed to be like the hatred was honestly supposed to be Baumgartner uh, mayor levels. And we're not even getting that. Like, we're not even getting Golovkin Canelo two levels. Right. <laughs> So yeah, this has been lacking. Like this fight should have really had more, like buzz to it. More. Mm. But these guys both had belts a few years ago. Just like Charlo and Hurd had three belts between them. You know what I'm saying? Like this is a this is a you know Benavidez fake interim belt on the line. You know what I'm saying? Like both these guys had unification, but I don't know. At least we're getting it. You know, this fight I'm hell hype for this fight, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't have the belt factor because. One couldn't, you know, one got the opportunity to unify, but came up short. The other one couldn't, you know, couldn't keep couldn't keep food out of his mouth. So, you know, we get 
So, I mean, both yeah. don't matter for good fights. Or stuff out of his nose. Well, I'm, um, I mean, like, between that <laughs> fight, know. that fight, falling in a way, and Stanley Ortiz, which obviously doesn't have a real belt on the line. I mean, those three fights, boxing's pretty dope coming up, man. I mean, I don't really consider the real belt on the line with Stanley and Ortiz. I don't. No, I'm just saying it's not real. It's not a real belt. I'm just saying like the, the the Reggie WBA, right? Yeah, because the 147, 147 is in the log gym, so they have to, like, you know, they got to make the fights because the champion. Yeah, either fight. somebody got to beat Spencer or Crawford for me to be like, all right, you the nigga now. You the dude. Well, <laughs> well it's not going to happen. I, I think Ennis will end up being the IBF champ since he's interim. And, you know, whoever wins this, that fight's going to be, I don't know. I don't think they're going to end up fighting. Yeah, dude, look, I ain't calling nobody no interim, no Champer at 147 to a motherfucker beat Spencer Crawford or today fight. Like, yeah, I'm just, that, I'm, I'm just reading some yeah. of Nathaniel's comments because uh, he said apparently tickets haven't sold out yet. I, I, I'm surprised if they have. That's not the case. Wow, that's crazy. Because you know, usually by then, because because I know Vegas, because it, it's in Vegas, so I'm like, I'm like, I know everything. They're jacking all the prices up and shit like that, but. I'd be surprised, like for a fight like this that's really anticipated. If it's not sold out, I'd be really surprised. It need a little more extra buzz, though. Like I just feel like it's lacking. Like, and here's, and here's what I said before. Like in terms of like quality, like if this was a regular TV quality card, then yeah, this card would be perfect. Like this is. I think more people would be talking about it because like, hey, we're not coming off a bad weekend of boxing because there was you know. We just saw a decent Golden Boy card, so it's not like we're coming off a complete right. toaster leavings type of, you know, it's a decent weekend. Like, you kind of want to rebound like this. We're coming off a, a, a week of boxing that was decent, but not too good where it takes over. Like, you're still talking about the weekend because, you know, the fight, the weekend, the boxing was so great. Like, nah. And yeah, Beth, you're right. The build up has been somewhat lackluster, and with all the resources they have, that's what make it worse. Mm -hmm. right. It definitely shouldn't be that way. Like, uh, like right now, like we should at least this this should be something going viral right now about these two, and not 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 one thing. Like, oh no, nah, no, nah. niggas care about the uh, that shit with Caleb playing in his damn gym, the former gym owner, and him getting his fight banners back, and exactly in the memory. I'm like, yo, and this is like the most boring shit y'all could damn use to promote the fight, like. Well, well, cause you know the killer Canelo had had the slap, you know, and with the animosity between these guys, nothing really. I hope something happens this week. On you know, dude, we don't even have to come to blows, dude. Baumgartner and Mayer ain't putting hands on each other, but you felt every word them bros were saying, though. That's what I need to feel with these motherfuckers. Well, David's dad is basically like Andrew Garcia, and t you know, like he's just P Diddy. You know nah, what I'm saying? No, he's not. Benny just can talk, but he just says pussy. He, 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 he's all like cop press conference. He can't. All them shit. niggas talk, but they ain't, they ain't extra enough to really bring it. Like these niggas not even on some damn Robert Gar Robert Guerrero's dad level, like. Yeah, Ruben the image. Guerrero. Huh? Is it Ruben Guerrero? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Ruben Guerrero. Yeah, like I couldn't remember his name. That's why I said Robert Guerrero's dad. Like, my bad. <laughs> but but yeah, like if, if you're gonna play the 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 old the the correct the charismatic father, then you gotta play that. Right. <laughs> and there's only so much you could do. Like, you know, the whole gym footage and that show was like a couple years ago. Like. You ain't no one care about all that shit. Like, you had your you had your pregnant wife there trying to calm you down for like, nigga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I'm gonna I'm send your goons gonna... in there and get them all fucking fight banners. <laughs> Fact. Well, let me go be with your motherfucking pregnant wife, nigga. Like, do y'all think David Moreau after another fight would beat both these guys? Or no? He'd be up there. I'd be. He he would definitely have a maybe a forty percent chance. Shit. May probably have a better chance against Plant than Benavidez, but um, right, yeah. You you know what? But Morel has the size. Like I'm telling you, like niggas, I want to see somebody launch some overhand rights at fucking Benavidez. Like, jeez, mm -hmm. no, nah, that punch is there for him all day. Let Morel face that Shishkin guy or Ushkagavi. I think you know, little more season. He can, you know. That'd be a good fight. Good yeah, I, I remember we talked about that. You know, and the Pafanio just said, hell, Tank versus Ryan's getting more attention. That's over a month away. Well, yeah, I mean, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 
Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, definitely they took some of that shine away. And like I said, they don't have anything going viral. Don't have any antics going on there. And, and they're not really even going on to like other like other places to really like look. Usually, it's like yeah, hey, they underselling the hell out this fight. There, yeah. there was no ESPN shit, huh? Nothing like that. No interviews or nothing. That's crazy. Yeah. Niggas need to be on Breakfast Club. Something hit these podcasts. Something like get something. on fucking how how Broner on damn um a million dollars worth of game before y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> but get the fuck out of here, like dude, like. Oh my good! Like, and this is the thing. I don't want people to be like, "Well, y'all just saying that because you want one of these motherfuckers on ring game." Yeah, that's cool. I don't give a fuck. Like, niggas, and you, it ain't for me, man. Like, motherfuckers don't have to be on ring game to do publicity and shit. Get on these other bigger platforms. I just want to see yeah. a fight get big. I saw running around like some podcast with some brothers that had four hundred subscribers. I was like, "What the fuck?" Brother had like an hour long interview with these guys. I mean, you know, do a motherfucker just pick and choose. I don't even know no more. Like a motherfucker do an interview with a nigga with twenty five subscribers. Like, yeah, you know. <laughs> like, I remember, I remember, I remember seeing Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, on Hot ninety seven. You know, interviews and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that kind of shit. Like, it's crazy. Like, what y'all got managers for? Like, and you know what? That's what it is. Motherfuckers always be quick to say promoter. Promoter got to promote promoter. Nigga, I get that, but if you get million dollar paydays, you get managers and shit. Like, what else them niggas doing? Right. Like y'all, the promoters just set the fight up, do the lights, and say they make posters. <laughs> they might make a little promo. I get Plant. Plant does good with his um his own YouTube channel. I give him props for that, and he does he does well with that. He started it with Canelo with the I think this one's now wrote the Redemption cool but you know use your network share them shits like i don't see i don't see none of those shits posted on twitter no sponsors on uh, uh, ig nothing on tiktok i'm just saying like like y'all want the fight to be bigger make it bigger mm-hmm uh, and what pat said about the pay-per-view uh not i mean the Tickets not selling. Re- sales would probably not be that good, to be honest. I mean, you'd expect with the white Mexican fan base and stuff, you know. But I don't know. This shit should be doing five hundred k, honestly. Uh, but it'll probably do three hundred. Probably do two fifty, three hundred. I mean, I yeah, know. it got the potential model. to do five hundred k though. This is like rap, you know. It's like rap album first week sales. Ain't you know? It's irrelevant. Nah, because these niggas not do like, but like, but Benavides is low key every boxer's favorite boxer right now and like yeah mike mike tyson you saw the jamar yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it, damn exactly like should be marketing this like his second coming of Hagler hearns or thriller manila is crazy that's uh, yeah it is like it, it, you're not even crazy for that shit. i'm just i'm just a it's boxing true. fan want to see the fights in boxing be bigger so boxing to be bigger like Creed 3 just came out. You know how many motherfuckers just got boxing on their mind and y'all not even taking advantage of that? Facts. Like, oh my God. Like, anybody who's doing anything boxing related, your shit is just going to get a boost off rip. If you realize it. But if you don't realize it and don't try to do anything and just do the regular same old shit, then yeah. So, honestly, that might be a good poll for for this week. Um... How many pay per view buys you think Benavidez plant get? Right. <laughs> 50K, 100K, 250K, and 500K. <laughs> it's like it's like five years in the making, but it doesn't, it just feels like your average, you know, whatever fight. It should be a little bit. Because different. we don't, boxing doesn't Logistic. fucking promote no more. Yeah. They don't cater to Dude, us who follow the sport every day. They don't cater to us. Yeah. Should have been a fucking a tour around this goddamn country. Whenever you have a fight that take three and four, five years to make, I feel like you owe it to parade it to the fucking country and the public, as if to show people, look, I know y'all niggas wanted this fight for the last five years. We finally doing it here. We'll come to your city, come to your city, come to your platform. Like that's how y'all should treat fights that y'all over marinate, but y'all don't. Y'all treat it like. Y'all treated like a bitch that finally got to fuck her man at the end of the week. <laughs> we didn't even get the fight. You some pussy shit. We don't even get the fight. It's crazy. We don't even get the fight we want anymore. You know what I'm saying? 
When we want them, that's a problem. Wild Rangers, French Bird. Oh no! Oscar De La Hoya gave us a big fight to look forward to every year, and when that nigga retired, that shit kind of stopped. And when I say big fight, it was a fight between a motherfucker that you wanted to see him fight, not a nigga that boxing motherfuckers tell you you should fight. Oh, Robert Guerrero was a great fight for Mayweather. Uh, uh, uh. Kalani's a great fight for Pacquiao. No, nigga. <laughs> I Corte yeah. and Oscar De La Hoya is a great fight. Shane Mosley versus De La Hoya is a great fight. Trinidad yeah. versus De La Hoya, great fight. That's the difference in fucking great fights. Two great fighters come together. Not this one great nigga and one average nigga, B plus, B left. No, like. And y'all got that with fucking Benavidez plan, and y'all not doing nothing with it. But fuck it, we'll see. So so it's clean split. We all picking Benavides to brutalize this goddamn um fucking Eminem over here. The fucking Tommy from Power. Well, eight, <laughs> eight, eight, eight nine ten. Would you have Roman Pat for that one? Uh, Did Rome pretty, say six? <laughs> I, I, I think I had. T- I think I said ten. I know it'll be in piece of nine and ten. I think. Oh, I, I said, said nine. I, I said nine, and I think piece of ten. Yeah. No, I, Damn, I, I, I hope I, somebody I bet the spread or <laughs> yeah, I didn't pick a time, but I'll say uh Benavidez in eight. God damn, it's say bro. <laughs> well we'll allow it because I'll be me and Pat had the ninth for the last the other day, so yeah, I'll see. So yeah, I mean all, all, all I hope to in the end is like, you know, this car at least delivers and cause um it's got delivers and we and we get like, you know, Good fights with the main event actually delivering, because um, uh, yeah, we need we need a big fight to deliver, because the big fights, you know, the ones that I mean, I mean, like I said, boxers had a good year so far. It's not, I mean, yeah. like five, you know, five fight of the year candidates so far. Get a boxing movie on top. The only more shit you can add to boxing that you throw a goddamn if if Ebo and the anime come back, then this would be the most perfect year of boxing you've ever had. Really, like. Right. It's too boxing is getting too much promo and press for it to just fall apart for for this fight. And this about to be the last comment on this shit. Uh, I see Beth. The highest boxing event this year was Paul versus Fury. Yeah, 800k on ESPN Plus. Can that be topped by Ryan versus Tank with the lack of buildup that's going as of now? It'll get topped. It'll, it, it, Ryan versus Tank. I see that's a million regardless if. You think a million yeah, they I mean, promoted I, harder I, or not? I think people still did. I'm, I'm saying 600 is a success for them. I feel like or 750. I don't know. I, a million this day. Well, success is whatever they break even. Now. What you know? It's, yeah. Are you talking about the pay per view buys? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. some of them sometimes they need to break even at 200k for it to be like, all right, it's a success. Oh, it need to break this much. But you know what I'm saying, how, how many buys? Doing 800k. But how many buys? That, how many buys y'all think it's been? Uh, let me ask you this: Will Tank and Ryan outsell Canelo and uh, Ryder? Hell yeah, easily. Yeah, of course. Canelo is the face of. I mean, <laughs> well, hear me out. Canelo's hear me not out. really Tank, the face no, of boxing. Oh, you know, Tank's a, fi- a face of boxing, but Canelo's. You know, there's a few faces of boxing. Canelo and AJ kind of the had their time. Canelo and AJ had their time. Tank, American wise, you, you know. He, know, he's bigger than Tank. Tank is, yo, Tank been the fucking face of boxing, nigga. Low key, just people I mean, waiting for his goddamn Tank resume to match. Tank is not the face of boxing, nigga. Stop. He no, is. There's, 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 there's faces. I mean, there's you know, I guess Fury, Canelo. Nigga, Spence Tank. has a bigger, Are you Spence about in got a bigger face in boxing than Tank. In America, Tank's marketed as a rapper. I mean, Tank is is a, is, is, Tank is a up face there, of boxing. And dude. Nigga, Crawford has a bigger face in boxing than, than Tank does. Boy, lie. Well, UK loves their boxing, but we're talking about, well, you know, US toil. Crawford is not a bigger face in boxing than Tank. Like, no, Tank's bigger than... The fuck about Crawford right now. Crawford is Tank? like... I love Car- Crawford's the goddamn blue caps from Raising Canaan now, nigga. Nigga, Tank wasn't Tank wasn't in Creed. <laughs> Tank's and, and Tank's Crawford, Crawford barely was either. <laughs> Matter of fact, no boxing was in Creed. <laughs> no, what goes in there more? Tank's bigger than Crawford. That's what I'm Tank. saying. No, hear me out, hear me out. 
Tank's bigger than Crawford. Honestly, he's bigger than Spence, and I, I would probably say Wilder. Honestly, he's he's bigger than those three. I mean, yeah. I mean Wilder would be big again when he get a, a, a fight coming up. Yeah, pause. I mean, Ryan is still one to review, but he's more, probably more popular than I don't know. Thank you, Beth. Crawford ain't that big of a star. Yeah, no, and and he got hit. yeah, Tank and Ryan should be pr promoted way better. Yeah. And we can all agree on that, but it's gonna get there. It's gonna get there with Tank and Ryan. Like it, it'll be more promo when you get the next, the last two weeks is gonna be outrageous. Like whoever fight those weeks leading up to Tank Ryan, like y'all gonna have to really step step y'all game up and set yourself aside because the sport gonna go crazy for them two dudes. I, I do give it up though because uh, the NOI one with Tank coming late was kind of trash and boring, but at least the California one was a little, you know, a little bit more energy and shit. Yeah. They go into the same look, man. You gotta add more cities though. Like if you're doing a press tour in New York, Cali, and you gotta hit fucking Texas. I mean you gotta hit here. fucking you gotta hit Atlanta and you gotta hit fucking damn Florida, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Just because of the atmosphere and, and just the you got a lot of people training in Florida. You got mm -hmm. Texas, a lot of people train in Texas. I don't even say you, you should have done one in both their hometowns. Like, yeah, you should have done the one in uh, There's enough money in the school to do that, nigga. They only, went to, they only went to NY and LA, I think, right? You know? the, yeah, and that's bullshit. But like, that's not that's enough. The, yeah, that's the biggest fight two American boxers can make you know, right now. And y'all go to kinda two cities? Kind of by far. I know, that's, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, they got the money for it. They just don't want to do it. They don't think it works. But it works. <laughs> Social media. Yeah, what else we got to talk about? 